factories first, and then we release it to public. At the same time, we're releasing the whole technology. Pardon? Pardon? There is a feedback. So in this process, now we have become and have made humanity independent of energy resources like oil, like gas, nuclear, and the rest. Because you can produce these as you've done with uh, Magrav systems yourselves in your country. And one of our priority with the energy units is Ghana. We're sending very rapidly for development of the manufacturing of this unit because energy is crisis in that country and the Cash Foundation Atomic Center will allow us to develop very rapid development. What I want you to see, we have a video that you can see the Magrav generator in operation. And this has been going on, starting with a very small load, the same as what we did with you. We started with a high load and we phased in. Now the system is around about 2.53 kilowatt. Um, Rick, do you have the video that we can see, please? Yes, uh, yes, Mr. Cash, I just got that ready at this moment. Um, let me get it uh, set up here. This is the first time we show this was taken a few hours ago deliberately for this presentation. Uh, and we will show the blue version of it in a matter of a couple of weeks that you can see. We need to add a production facility see. to see this. Yes. Okay. Are you ready to go? Uh, can you see it there on your screen? Yes, you're sharing the screen. Yes, go ahead. Okay, let me play it. I, hopefully the sound will come through. Do this. I'm sorry for uh, putting this out so fast. Uh, I accidentally tore something up and had to rebuild it. But anyway, this is a later topic. I want to go through what's connected right now uh, to the load. Uh, as you can see, this is a some of you call it a panini, I call it a grilled cheese toaster. And uh, the lights on, it's 800 watts. I got a 1500 watt fan forced heater here. We're fixing to crank it up. As you can see the lights on, heat coming out nice and hot. I got a dorm refrigerator right here. Right there, you can see it's coming in. Plugging into the same strips, battery power. <clears throat> Maggrav capacitors, another refrigerator. Uh, a standard fridge that we're fixing to. There we go, and just so you can hear, it's working. Uh, it, it, I use it for a vacuum to uh, vacuum out uh, refrigerant at automobiles. I made that myself, so anyway. Uh, and uh, we, my little off grid system here that runs off 12 or 6 volt or 12 volt system. In this particular case, I've got a 6 volt system running up to it. Uh, you can see the fluorescence come on. Yeah, 100 we're at 103.67 fluctuating you can see the strip here um, sorry this is really fast this is basically what we've got up here on the board heater with the fan at 1500 watts grilled cheese toaster 800 watts uh, 318 uh, watt cfl spiral bulbs 54 watts dorm refrigerator 500 watts on the start 70 watts on the run cycle a standard refrigerator compressor 700 watts on the start 85 watts on the run cycle total wattage consumption on the start 3554 on wattage on the run cycle will be 2509 now I just added a 30 watt uh, glue gun on here too uh, because uh, I had some uh, something that needed to be uh, secured down there and moving around on me so anyway that increased that up to mm, 35 39 or 2539 and uh, 3584 on the uh, start on the run we're running right now 2509 we got a hundred and four point three volts shooting out uh, we'll get the uh, thermal indicator here Bear with me just a second we'll take some temperature readings all right we are in fahrenheit range it is hot in here because i have the heater going and we can see the capacitors are reading about 91, 80, 89 to 91 degrees. The Magrav center coil is 91 degrees. Top coil 
110, 111, 108. So let's say 110. Bottom coil. Nice. 90, 89, and the wires coming off here, alligator clips, 82 degrees, this being the main load wire here going back out, only 91, 92 degrees, uh, and just so y'all know that the toaster's working, yeah, <laughs> quite warm there it is. 300 and, and so uh, and uh, so the heater's working too let me uh, get that off of uh, is it on hold okay here we go scan let's scan the elements there and as you can well, let me get on them it's kind of hard for me to move around me moving around it's kind of hard to get on those coils like that <coughs> But you can see there's 250 degrees coming out of the coils there. Uh, nothing's heating up. No, as you can see, no no wires uh, melting, and, and everything is uh, uh, normal. We got a voltage right here at the base of the CFL at 89, 87 degrees. You can hear my little motor chumming in the background there, uh, and. Voltage consumption is down to 97, 98, uh, 98 volts uh, is uh, what it's actually pushing out right now with this particular load on it. Uh, I do have quite the load on this little bitty system. But I wanted to show you, there's no hidden wires. There's my outlet right there. There's nothing plugged into it. Uh, this is self-sufficient. And uh, I'm so sorry for the short video. I'll try to do a little bit better job and, and get more information out to you. Uh, as soon as possible. Uh, peace and God bless to each and every one of you.